In today's video we will reveal how Rebecca almost fooled Pan and Teller on Fool Us. Let's do a quick rewind of what happened in the performance. Rebecca started off the performance by telling a story about a psychic. She said that way back in 1968, a researcher named Charles Tart created a random five-digit number and placed it on a high shelf. His subject was a psychic, called Miss Z claimed that she could divine the five-digit code through what she called out-of-body experiences, essentially meaning her spirit self could leave her body and float around, and see what other humans' eyes could not. Rebecca said that Dr. Hart's experiments had been controversial for over 50 years. But after studying his work very carefully, she said that she thinks she can make a believer out of all of the audience. She said the last time she was on stage Pan and Teller were not allowed to scan her, so this time she brought a metal detector, used for searching people for objects that they shouldn't have on them. In this situation radio receivers are other ways to cheat at magic. She then asked Pin to test out the metal detector on himself, he tested his watch to make sure the metal detector was not a fake instrument. Please test it out, you can test it out on yourself first of all if you have any metal. Pen then detected the wooden blocks and Rebecca also. Okay. Yeah. I think we're okay. Wonderful. Rebecca said that there are nine numbers to choose from that are presented on the blocks. She asked Pen to place five numbers into the rack randomly. Right there. After placing it into the rack, And there it is! She asked Penn to place it on the stand facing upwards. She requested Penn to hold onto her shoulders as she falls into a trance. Stop me from falling. I Thank will. you. After a while, she suddenly woke and spoke the five numbers she had received in her out of body experience instantly. 61973. Upon verifying the number she said, she was absolutely correct. Spoiler alert! If you accidentally clicked on this video, and don't want to know how such tricks work, I will give you 5 seconds to click off this video, but if you consider magic as a puzzle then stay tuned. Now before I get down to the reveal, I want to give a quick shout out to my wonderful patrons for supporting my work. Their support is a reason I am able to improve my content and upload more regularly. We will break the trick into two phases. In first the phase will be discussing the observation, and in the second phase will be discussing the explanation based on the conclusion drawn from the observations. The first odd thing we observe is that, although Rebecca is wearing a mic right over here on her shirt the transmitter for this mic is usually attached to the back of the pants of the performer. But when Penn waved the metal detector underneath her coat, the metal detector did not make any noise. This most probably might be because Penn saw the transmitter and did not go near it. The second thing we might consider suspicious are the wooden blocks, those wooden blocks could contain transmitters that somehow alerted Rebecca through some sort of device. But this theory is immediately disposed off because upon Penn waving the metal detector over the wooden blocks, nothing was found. The metal detector genuinely was working because Pan also waved it over his watch, and it did make a sound. Please test it out, you can test it out on yourself first of all if you have any metal. For the third observation, we can observe that Rebecca looked down towards the floor when she went into a trance. This is suspicious because another observation links with it, which is a fact that Rebecca asked Pan to place the rack containing the five blocks on top of the stand facing upwards. Rebecca was not looking at the rack in the first place. So why in the world did Pen have to flip the rack so that it was facing upwards? This could mean that Rebecca was looking into the reflection on the floor that was reflecting the numbers on the block in a mirror attached to the ceiling. Although this method looks very convincing and very plausible, but if we were to go through Pen's code words, which he said right here at this moment. Because what you experienced to give you the information of what was up on that board, everyone in this room and everyone watching at home experienced. You can see Penn said that what Rebecca experienced, everyone else in the room and everyone watching at home also experienced it. Notice Penn used the word experienced. So if we assume this theory of using a mirror was correct, we did not see the mirror in the first place, so the mirror has nothing to do with having been able to experience something at home. So our second theory is also instantly debunked. Now let's move on to the fourth observation, 
which you can hear during the moment pens placing the blocks into the rack. Well on initial assumption we can quickly conclude that the sounds were distinguishable for each number from 1 to 9. And Rebecca was simply paying attention to what sounds were being made as each block was being placed into the rack. But if you were to give it a second thought, you will notice that even if Rebecca knew which numbers Pan had selected through the sounds, there was absolutely no way she could have known the sequence in which the blocks were placed into the rack. Since she did not instruct Pan to place the blocks in a sequence from either left to right or vice versa. This leads us to conclude that the sounds of the blocks were not the secret to this trick. Furthermore, if you were to pay attention to the sounds being made, all of them sound literally the same. Right there. So, if this method was somehow plausible, Rebecca had to have extraordinary listening skills to be able to distinguish slight audible differences that we simply could not. The final theory we can present is that Rebecca used a thumper. A thumper is basically a vibrator that is controlled wirelessly through a transmitter. You can find this prop easily on AliExpress. In order to use the thumper, Rebecca would have to have an assistant backstage who would be transmitting what number was being placed by pen, by simply tapping and activating the receiver accordingly. But the assistant does not have one job, rather the assistant would have to do a second thing as well. Which is the fact that he or she would also have to transmit the exact position of the box, in which pen placed the block in. So, this means Rebecca would not be receiving a total of 5 signals, rather would be receiving 10 signals. The first signal would be the number and the second signal would be the position. Another question arises regarding this method, which is that how would Rebecca know when to stop counting the number of vibrations for the number on the block, and not accidentally count the vibrations for the position of block. In order to verify this theory, let's see what Penn had to say about the performance. Once again, finding a way to get information that uh, you have no way of finding out. Penn clearly said in his code words that she was using a method for finding information that she simply had no way of finding out on our own. He was implying that Rebecca was using some sort of receiver or had someone in on it. And this trick could not have been performed alone. You brought the wand up there, I checked you all out, I wanted to find one of uh, Bambi's friends somewhere on you. We thought maybe in your shoes, I didn't check there enough. Over here the wand Pen was referring to was the metal detector. And when Penn was saying that he was trying to find one of Bambi's friends, he was referring to the 1942 movie called Bambi. In which one of Bambi's friends name is Thumper, which happens to be a rabbit. So instead of directly using the term Thumper, Penn quoted the word as Bambi's friend. We already discussed earlier, what a Thumper is and how it is available easily on AliExpress. Penn was trying to find the Thumper on Rebecca's body but forgot to check the shoes. And you decided to hide in plain sight. Because what you experienced give you the information of what was up on that board. Everyone in this room and everyone watching at home experienced. We already discussed these code words to debunk a previous theory regarding the mirror. Now, if we were logically think about it, the only experience we can get at home by watching this episode is either visually or audibly. We think everybody had the information, only you could read it. It's like calling someone's name in a, in a crowded room, only they hear it. Penn is now narrowing down his code words and is implying that somehow Rebecca was receiving information in code. This could mean that someone in the audience could have been hand gesturing to Rebecca. This theory of someone gesturing in the audience somewhat aligns with Penn's code words. Since everybody else in the audience would have seen the assistant in the audience signaling the numbers to Rebecca. But that contradicts two things. The first thing is that the information could have only been read by Rebecca and the signals given by the assistant in the audience would have been seen by everyone and would not have been unique to Rebecca. And the second thing is the fact that Penn was facing the audience when he was on stage. So, he would have seen if any assistant were doing something fishy in the audience. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. If you have made it this far into the video, be sure to hit the like button it really supports the channel. Also be sure to subscribe, I would really appreciate it due to the time and effort I put into my videos. If you want to see more and more uploads, please support me on Patreon for a single dollar per month. I would really appreciate it wholeheartedly. Now let's get back to figuring out how this trick is done. And this time, you went universal. These final words could give us the exact solution to the method. 
Notice that Penn used the word universal. To help you understand the background of this code word, we will need to recall one of Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's famous quotes. Henry Wadsworth was born in 1807, he was an American poet and educator who wrote many lyric poems known for their musicality, and often presenting stories of mythology and legend. He became the most popular American poet of his day. One of Henry's famous quotes were music is the universal language of mankind. Now based off these code words, you might recall something happening during her performance. Notice that when Rebecca leans forward, and apparently goes into trance state, you can notice something playing in the background. That something disguised as music becomes a lot more clear the more you pay attention to it. If you haven't figured out already, the music playing in the background disguised each digit from 1 to 9 as musical cues that were playing in a sequence. The music was the secret method behind this incredible trick. What's even more fascinating is that it's happening in plain sight. This method also aligns with Penn's code words. When he said that only she could identify it, like calling someone's name in a crowded room. Only she recognized the music, because that's what she was listening for the entire time. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit the like button and feel free to comment which reveal you want to see next. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.